In this video, we're going to talk about transfer aids, in particular for wheelchairs, getting to and from your wheelchairs, how that works, what you might use, and some of the specific situations you might need them for. Todd, nice to see you again. Good to be here. We are looking at transfer boards, but these aren't the only kinds of transfer aids. Talk to me about transfer aids, what they are and how they're used. Yeah, there's all sorts of different uh, devices that allow you to get from one place to the other when you can't move yourself. Uh, for instance, there are some very large, uh, thin devices that if you are on a gurney, let's say, mm -hmm. for instance, in a hospital and need to go to the x-ray table, you sort of slide it under the, you get a couple people, move you over, and sort of squish you off. Like a, like a transfer bridge. Yeah, a transfer bridge. <laughs> sure. But uh, yeah, things like that also. You know, there's many different varieties. These happen to be just some, some transfer boards that you would slide uh, upon. Okay, so some of the scenarios we're talking about here are patient transfer aids, for example, gurney, uh, as you mentioned. But also, uh, I know one of the ones that turns up a lot, you gotta get to the bathroom. That's so right. So how do you use these in terms of a wheelchair transfer aid to the commode or toilet? That's right, we don't have it actually shown here, but it might be a different configuration where you would pull your wheelchair up to the commode and you would take this board, specially designed board, uh, get it under your bottom, and it goes over to the commode and it's sort of got a nice round lip and you just sort of scooch off. So it matches the toilet exactly. It matches the toilet, yes. All right, good. Uh, and uh, finally, I wanted to ask you about uh, uh, using these transfer aids, for example, in nursing uh, homes or aged care facilities. Is there a use there? Oh, absolutely. Um, whenever you're moving from one place to the next and you don't want to be, be either held all the way up with a gate belt or something, you can use these to sort of scooch over without picking up your full weight. All right, good, good. And final, final question. I've noticed some of these are different materials. These ones appear to be some kind of timber. This one appears to be, well, some kind of plastic. What are the different uh, possibilities in terms of shapes and sizes and materials? And what should you sort of consider when you're choosing the right one? Right, uh, like for instance, we'll start with this one. This one's made out of high density polyethylene. So it is great when you're going to, let's say a tub or you're getting wet. Okay. This is actually designed for a bare bottom transfer also. Okay, good. Um, so that one's a waterproof as it were. Yeah, waterproof, exactly. Or bottomproof, something like that. Yeah, yeah bottomproof. <laughs> uh, this one is actually a very slick surface. Um, it has actually a plastic uh, fused onto it, so it's very, very slippery. And this one is quite affordable, but it still holds up to 400 pounds. This one, on the other hand, is really designed for a larger individual, and that one's actually rated up to 650 pounds. It, this one is really quite thick when you see that from the side. Correct. That makes a lot of sense to me. And these all look like some kind of laminated board of some kind? Right. They're laminated birch from Finland. So that's, uh, that's a very specific thing to have Yes, to it get. is. It is. All right, good. Well, look, thank you so much for your insight here. I appreciate that. For those of you who'd like to find out more about transfer aids, uh, please visit us online at starhomehealthcare.com or call us directly on 855-862-8857.